Hey everybody, it's Michelle. We are doing Paint Your Pet, Do It Yourself kit. Um, today we are going to be doing Marty the Cat. And um, the also uh, is friends with Bentley the dog, which we had done previously. So just to give you a little bit of a head start. So today is Marty the Cat. Oh, let me let's go into the Facebook Live. Hold on. I gotta make everybody excited for... <laughs> yeah so now i'm doing facebook live from my phone let's see hey everybody welcome to paint your pet uh pet portrait fun and we are doing do it yourself kit uh which we had done before, previously with bentley and bentley's um friend or brother is marty the cat so mm -hmm. <laughs> this was bentley that we had done a few weeks ago and uh, we sent out marty the cat and this is what we're going to be working on today. Right now, she is uh, tracing out. Um, basically, in the do-it-yourself kit, you get your paints, and you get uh, a drawing that I've done of your pet, and you just trace it out. You can write the name of your pet or not. It's up to you. And then I kind of give you a few step-by-step uh, -step tips on how to uh, paint your own pet. So, Christine is joining us live through Zoom, and she's just tracing out uh, Mr. Marty the Cat. But I wanted to just give you a few steps uh, before we start, is um, what I did, because Marty has this awesome collar of blue. Hey, Chris. <laughs> Welcome to the party. Um, Marty has this awesome blue collar uh, on his tag, So and these really cool eyes. They're like uh, these greenish blue, and um, so... I basically kind of took that and I wanted to do um, that as the background as well. So take that bluish green and just do the background. So that's the, those are the colors I started with first. So you know, I'm going to go ahead and start with, um, with those colors. Um, I just wet all my paints. Um, first, there, there's a few greens and blues in the palette. And, you know, you don't have to be exact. I kind of mix a few. Um, hey, Caroline. So, uh, <laughs> and uh, I'm mixing, making like a puddle of the color. He's got these really awesome, like greenish blue eyes. Christina, is his eyes really that awesome in real life or? They're like, they're so pretty. They're so like <laughs> green and big and, he looks so and his nice. nose is my favorite part because it's all like, it's pink. like pink and cute. Tell me about Marty's personality. So we found him, like, he was homeless last year. No way! Um, in, like, October. So he, we adopted him, and he, like, lives with us now. And, like, our dog basically was the one that kind of, like, found him. I was walking Bentley, and then we stumbled upon Marty, and, like, Marty then went with us for the rest of our walk and then, like, came to our house and stuff. So That and, like, is awesome! <laughs> yeah. And then... Now he like lives with us and he's like, he's huge. He's like 30, not 30 pounds. He's like 25 pounds. So he's like a pretty big cat. <laughs> Everyone always says he's like probably part main coon. I'm going to do a DNA test on him soon. Um, just to see what like he technically Yeah, really like is. a little like Maine Coon. Yeah. I, one of yeah. my friends has a cat that's Maine Coon because he has that big fur. Um, yeah, and he definitely needs to get groomed soon. He's going to be a cat that needs to get groomed, I think. I've never had a cat before. So like he's like my first... But he's like almost like a cat dog. Yeah, <laughs> that's so when cool. I come home from school, my teacher he like greets me like Bentley does. He wants to sleep in bed with the rest of the family. He always every night he like comes and crawls onto my like chest to sleep. Like he's such a little love bug. But he's also <laughs> been a little bit like annoyed that I've been home all the time. He's kind of like woman go back to school. Like he, time. he's like he's tramping my style. He's, he's like I want to like get on the counter and go through your yeah. stuff and open the cabinet. He loves to eat. He's a foodie. He loves like going in the fridge. Like whenever the fridge door opens, like you can find Marty nearby because he loves the fridge. Oh. <laughs> That's so fun. That so it, him and Bentley, your um, your doodle. He Bentley's a golden doodle, right? Yes. So they're so, like buddies. Yeah, they're, we call them brothers. Um, <laughs> they get along pretty well. They, they don't like play a lot together because Bentley's like eighty pounds. They don't like play play, but they will snuggle on the couch together sometimes. <laughs> and every now and then, if like Bentley has like peanut butter on his paws from like a Kong, I find Marty like grooming him, like getting the, like mostly just. Oh, to get the that's so cute. Yeah. I love that story. 
That's yeah, so they're like, he's our little like love hostage. We love him. <laughs> And, like, he's he's so chill. Whenever anyone's over, he, like, immediately comes over to, like, say hi to them. He wants to, like, be friends with everybody. He's not afraid of, like, dogs or anything else like that. He, like, can travel, too. He, like, goes to my parents' house for holidays. Um, <laughs> oh, he's like a dog cat. Yes, he really is. Like, he's so, like, he's so, like, a lot of cats, like, I feel like aren't, like, really good with that kind of change. They don't do well with that. But Marty, like loves that. I really want to get him one of those cat school bags so he can go for, like, walks with us. Aww. So actually walk, he, like, didn't seem like he liked that when we tried doing it. Have you ever tried but to put him on a harness and go for a little walk with him? He did, and he, like, like hey, hated guys. it. He was so awful about it. I was like, oh, my God. Like, so, like, <laughs> yeah. He but, looks awesome. We had a cat growing up, um, big furry cat like this, and he climbed into our uh, tree in our backyard when we were growing up, and my parents were always like, no, my dad was like, no animals. He didn't want any, um, he didn't want any pets. And we were uh -huh. like, but this cat was in the tree and he was a big, a long hair cat like him, but he was like a tuxedo cat. And he was like a dog oh. cat. That's why I was saying it's like a dog cat. Cause he was so cool. Like you, you knew what you were saying and everything. And, and we kind of would bring him inside when dad was at work and mom would say, oh. I want to make sure the cat's outside when dad comes home. So, you know, yeah. eventually Dad kind of uh, grew to like him as well, and he became our Aww. our cat. And you want to know his name? It's really exotic. His name is Kitty. So <laughs> I'm like, you have a cat named Kitty? Like, that's what we called him out of the tree. We said, yeah, Kitty, 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 Kitty. And he finally came, and he was like, he walked over to us, and we was like, so what right now I'm doing, I'm taking the same blue that I did in um, Marty's eyes, and I'm just kind of filling in the background. What I, what I do, like, I'm just going around the feet as well. Just go around me. Make sure that all the white area, wherever all this uh, fur on Marty is all white. You're going to leave the whitest area is always the paper. So you want to keep anything that's white in, whether it's your dog or cat, um, that's going to leave that like the paper. We'll go in and do some shadows. But I'm just going to take that same color that I did in, in Marty's eyes, and I'm going to do it in his little collar as well. I mix just basically a little bit of cyan, a little bit of lime green. You have fun. Like, you could, you know, change it up. Make it, like, a little bit of tie-dye. And don't worry. If something drips, so your wet paper towel is for. I said, wet paper towel is your friend. You just pick that. And I just I always do, like, a little bit darker near the bottom. I kind of do a little bit of, uh, I mix the, the blues. Just thicken up. Before I started, I, I dripped a few drops of water into each of the uh, colors to get the pigment kind of um, activated in the paint. So that way you can kind of, um, you know, you can add more water to lighten it up. And I always say water is your white. If you want to lighten something up, just keep adding a little bit more water to your uh, pigment of your color. And you always have your wet paper towel handy, ready for you to... Uh, if anything drips or if you want to just lighten something up, watercolor is very forgiving. So my line to go into, I'm just filling all this back section. See here, like even though the background in the photograph was, is like a yellowish color, I kind of make sure that uh, I take something that's in the cat, like the eyes, his eyes are awesome. So, and the blue of his collar. So you take that and I kind of do a little mixture of both. To hey Carly, hey everybody watching there and face book land. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the party. So um, just doing we're painting the background of Marty the cat, who is we're not sure if he's half coon cat, main coon right? Is that what we said? Yeah, that's what the vet thinks he is. Yeah. So I think that sounds cool. So I kind of want to go with that. <laughs> and um. For those who are just uh, t chiming in, um, Christine's dog, um, Bentley, which we had done uh, a do-it-yourself kit previous, was going on a walk, and Bentley, the doodle, golden doodle, found Marty the cat and took Marty home. <laughs> I love that story. That is awesome. Yeah, it was cute. It was like they went... And then... Um, when we took, we like went to go see if he had a chip and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So we had to like, I had to take Marty to a vet eventually. And, um, Bentley was like looking around the house for him was so sad that he wasn't there. I like knew that he actually really did oh, like him after that. 
Oh, buddy. So I'm going into the pinks. So like one thing that like you were saying, Christine, that you love is the pink in um, Marty's nose. And he's got a little bit of pink in the ears as well. So with pink, I always just add a lot of, just a little dab of the red, a ton of water. And you don't want it to look like a popsicle red pink. Um, you want it to, and I just wipe off it on my wet paper towel and you just go up in there. I'm just going to go along the edge here. And if it's too pinky pink, like popsicle pink, I'll show you like that's kind of too ready, red-ish. So I just do my wet paper towel and just like, it, just dab it really gently. That'll give you that perfect little bit of pink. And same thing. Got that pink on the seam on this side too, in the edge of the ear, where the light is shining through. So you just kind of go in there. And same on his cute little nose. Oh, kitty cat nose. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. He's so cute. He looks very huggable. Is he heavy? He's like 25 pounds. Oh, he's a big kitty cat. Yeah, and he loves to eat, too. That's the thing. He has to be, like, on a little bit of a diet. Oh. He would, after, like, the fridge door opens, I find that he's, like, sticking his head in there, like, wanting to see. <laughs> like, he would live inside our fridge if he was allowed. He, he, he's like uh, the kitty cat. Well, they were saying everyone's going to get the, instead of the freshman 15 when you got in college, everyone's going to get the quarantine 15. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so... I'm going to go back into little Marty's uh, collar. I, I don't know if you noticed in the um, do-it-yourself kit that I kind of left Marty as the white first. But if that's too difficult, you can fill the whole thing. I'm going to show it like a, a simpler way. You can fill the whole thing in blue and then just fill his name in with a darker blue. So you don't have to like go okay. around everything. It, it's a little more difficult. Because like, you know what, as long as you can see his name. So I fill the whole collar in blue. It's just a simpler way. And instead of making his name Marty in white, I'm just going to make it a little bit darker. I'm going to let that dry. And, um, or you could like, and if even if you just want to leave it like that, you can still see it because when you trace it, you'll be able to yeah. see the, uh, his name through it. But like, I know I did it, I left the white in there, but that's like, I if you. I was very impressed. I was like, wow, that was like, <laughs> <laughs> that was like surgical. <laughs> I know. I was like, I. I want to make it like simple to follow, but I'm like, I, you can do either way. Hey, Mona. Hmm. Try to say hi to those, everybody who's watching. <laughs> yes, he is a big kitty cat. You want to person. see Marty? I'll, I'll put him up first. Actually. Yes, I would love to see Marty. Yeah, I'll have to send a picture of him <sighs> with, the, with the finished product. Oh my God, he's huge. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> kitty cat. He looks like a raccoon. Oh, that cat. He's so cute. He's like, mommy. He's really cute. <laughs> oh, he looks like a big doll. Yeah. Oh, I wish everybody I mean, on Facebook Live big, could see him. See how big he is? He's like, <laughs> Let me see if I can, like, turn the camera around so you can, everybody can see him. Hold on, Marty. <laughs> I don't know if everybody can see Marty the cat. Say hi, Marty. <laughs> He's huge. <laughs> Kitty cat. Oh, <laughs> uh, so <laughs> that's great. So now I'm going to go into, um, I wanted to build up a little bit of this, this gray and go in, um, and like kind of do a little bit, um, <laughs> oh, so you guys were able to see him? That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm new to like Facebooking and Zooming like a couple time. I'm like my my own IT person here. <laughs> yeah. So I'm doing um I'm just mixing a little bit of black with the, that blue that I did in the back. Um, and I'm just gonna see it's it's kind of a bluish gray. And I'm just, I always do like a lighter, you don't want to go too hard um, into the, the dark stuff first. Because he gets, it gets darker gray in here, but I finish, I fill the whole section with the lighter gray first. So, and, then, and you, he has this awesome little piece of white that comes up. So you leave that like the paper and you just go around the edges. So, and he's got this cute face. Oh, he's so cute. I'm so glad we saw him. 
He's like, I think he's bigger than a raccoon. <laughs> he's a large. I mean, I've had Zoom meetings since I've been home, and everyone's like, oh my God, look at that cat. He's huge. <laughs> like, other teachers can't believe how big he is. Mm-hmm. Like, he's a big boy. Like, he's not like your typical, like, little cat. Yeah, I wonder. Like, and I think because he was living on the streets, he like likes people food a lot. Like, oh, he'll yeah. like try to grab for like a French fry and stuff. Like, I never thought cats would like like stuff like that. But while he's like, I mean, <laughs> he's like, like, he lives, like in Philadelphia, so he like loves cheese steak and stuff. Like, he would eat whatever. Like, he's that's um, awesome. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I wonder. So, how is he with birds? Just out of curiosity. I mean, he's been living, so my husband's sister has a cockatiel, but we haven't, like, had them, they haven't met yet, but, like, he's great with children, like, my (laughs) godson's over a lot, and, like, he's not always, like, the most gentle kid with, like, Marty, but Marty's tense, Marty, like, is amused by him, and eventually, when he was a baby, baby, Marty used to just go upstairs and, like, hide when he was crying and stuff, but now that he's, like, walking around, Marty finds him interesting. (laughs) Now that he's... There's he more. looks like a different alien that has is yeah. not crawling. <laughs> and I think he likes that. Like um, a lot of times, like our nephew, but like really likes playing with Marty's cat toys. Marty has like we have a ton of cat toys for him that he likes to play with. So mm-hmm. like he like shares his toys with like Luca, so Luca can play with them. Oh, I um, I have a cocktail as well. So I was curious how. Uh, yeah, that's I saw that. I was like, I have to do Rachel's cat uh, bird the eventually. Her name, her name is Penny. Yeah. Um, yeah, she's she she's, fly around the house a lot more. But now that there's the now that Luca's around, like I think she's more like there's she has a harness for the bird though too. And like sometimes she'll take him, take Penny for a walk with That's her dog funny. and stuff like that. It's pretty funny. Oh my god! Um, I have uh, she, she is quarantined in her cage right now. Um, I, the last uh, paint your pet party, I didn't realize she was taking a little nap over on the side, and then she just kind of like walked through like hello i'm here up into the screen all about me i was like oh okay <laughs> they're just so cute yeah, they're great they're, they're so all like really funny it's so funny all the different animals that are like what's going on during quarantine how the animals are reacting to like <laughs> like us all being home at the same time i have two roommates so um she is going and they're all working from home so it's kind of funny how now my bird's like, mm, oh, let me go to see what you're doing over here. Like, she yeah. wants to be on their uh, conference business calls and... Um... <laughs> Flies in, swoops in during meetings. <laughs> yeah. It was cute. Yeah. It'll be interesting. Somebody do a, uh, a sociological study on how the animals reacted to people in during quarantine. <laughs> and, and, you know, on, like, awesome news was, like, there was a... Uh, shelter, I think, in Florida that every animal uh, was was um, fostered out. They're, they they had no animals left in their oh shelter. Yeah, I was like, that's awesome. Like, talk about like yeah. uh, silver lining and all this sadness and misery. I was like, that was so that the animals in the foster and um, adoption have been doing doing pretty well because everybody wants a little bit of companionship and I'm taking that same gray that I did above and I'm just going to because his this little lip is so cute oh mm. my god yeah my dad loves that about him <laughs> he's so cute yeah so you, that little happy face oh my god see now what I did was like and if you don't if it come out too dark like that I just take a little bit of that wet paper towel and I just drag it down so almost using my paper towel as kind of a brush in a way. So I just dragged it down to get that perfect little bit of, you know, the darkness. <laughs> and then it is a little bell. I'm taking that same gray. <laughs> Thanks for everybody watching me out in Facebook land. Facebook live. Give me a thumbs up if you're watching and you like what you're seeing. <laughs> I can't hear you, but I can see what you're saying, and I appreciate all the love. (laughs) So now, I'm going back into um, a few little bit more of these uh, shadows in here. Did you start uh, painting it? Oh, that was good. I think you're ready. So, like, you can can start, like, like, how I did with the... 
with the green for the eyes that I mix a little bit of the cyan and a little bit of the green and the lime a lot of water I already showed them to everybody. <laughs> I was like, did everyone meet Marty? I was like, yeah, I already showed them. <laughs> yeah. That was awesome. I'm already made his cameo. So I'm going into um, the fur. So because Marty is primarily white, all this white fur, but see, there's a lot of shadows in here. So I'm mixing um, a little bit of that, that same color that I did in the fur up here with a lot more water. So you want it to be really light. And I just kind of like filling up in underneath his belly. So see how it's like a cool gray? <sighs> awesome. I'm just kind of, you always want to leave a little bit of the white. Like, see, that's pretty white. That's white here. And see it right underneath the chin. I always do a lot of um, shadow right underneath the chin because that makes the, whether it's the dog or the cat, um, their their muzzle or their little nose pops forward because you want it to be light. So I'm just kind of going underneath. So that looks like pretty dark, but that's okay. I'm going to go in, just fill under the chin, and you'll see I'll dab it with a wet paper towel. So I'm going to take my wet paper towel, make sure that it's clean, and I'm just dragging it, kind of like what I did with his mouth. You're almost like gently wiping away what you did. So it's just like a, a light stain. So just a nice, see how that's just a perfect amount of, of color. And it go, and dryly uh, goes into the, they call that in um, watercolor dry brush. And same thing, it's, you see it's a uh, shadow. And you could refer to the drawing um, for like any of the lines or anything like that, to, it kind of gives you a little. Yeah, that was really helpful. So if you're kind of lost in where you're doing, just take your um, your paintbrush and follow those lines. Kitty cat. I'm going to go into Marty's name and I'll show you the, the little trick that I did. This is where I, when I say the the paint is a little bit more gooey. See. I got my paintbrush. Did you understand when I wrote that? Did that make sense when I said when the paint is gooey? Um, or yeah. Was, yeah, okay, you did understand. Because I was curious, um, like, if it translates when I'm saying it versus, like, just reading it. So I just, I take it, so it's almost like a magic marker, and it's kind of, like, make sure that it brush is, is damp, but it's not, like, drippy wet. So you want, so it's, I have the, control of it kind of like a magic marker so i'm just going to go over and fill in his name and like this part you could like i said you can just leave it like you wrote it with uh you trace it out that that'll do that'll be fine you don't have to go in and around it like the white like i did you can use like a pen if you want or just use your pencil go back over it and i'm just filling his name in here Marty. Where'd he get? It was funny. I wrote on Facebook, Mary. And I was like, ah, oh, <laughs> no, I forgot to put the T. I had to go back in. This, he's definitely a boy. Yeah, he's a boy. Yeah, that's Marty Cat. Yeah. So Bentley's name's Bentley, so it's a British car. So then we said, like, Marty's like Aston Martin, but we call him Marty for short. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> I love it. Um, my my bird is named Chica Birdie. <laughs> Very exotic. <laughs> Translates as girl bird. <laughs> um, <laughs> she's uh, well, I I originally um, I think I had a name like Cricket on her, and and she's such such a brat. Like I was just like Chica, <laughs> so. <laughs> She she uh she wasn't that sweet little cricket that I had initially named her. I was like she she kind of turned into she got birdie. And if she's being naughty, she gets the both. I mean, she just cheats. Do you out. let her out of her cage a lot? Oh yeah yeah. She's out and like she's she stays uh like usually she sits on my knee when I'm drawing. She'll sit there. Aww. And sometimes she um I don't know if you saw on my um. 
my Instagram, I just put her, uh, she was fighting with my magic marker pens. I said she's taking out her <laughs> quarantine frustrations on the magic markers. Like, <laughs> I don't know why. You look like she was having a fight. <laughs> I don't I don't know what was going on. It was hilarious. I said, Chica Birdie is getting her quarantine frustrations out on the magic markers. So I'm going back over. Now that the, that gray area is dry, I'm just taking like a little bit darker of that same um, gray that I did, but not super dark. You don't want it to be like black. And I'm just kind of going over those lines that you did. You can almost just trace over those lines that you did. You know, and kind of show that his little, those awesome markings he has. And also, hey, Evie. So I'm just doing a little bit. And I'm going over the eye, the eyelids, because this part uh, with the eyes, I kind of, I say, this is also kind of that, that gooey thing I was saying before. It's, there's less water on the, uh, <laughs> he, he, my friend likes the Tiffany blue background. So you had a match. Marty ah. has these awesome, really cool eyes. So I'm going to go into um, Marty's mascara. I call it the mascara right over the eyes. And just fill in up on top. Just go over top. Try to make sure that your paintbrush is not too wet. So you have a little more, um, you have a little more uh, control over it. And it's, it, the black really goes into, into the sides. And we're going to go in, now that, that that awesome blue is dry, in the iris of the eye. Now I'm gonna, you wanna get that gooey, like I was telling uh, Christine, it's pretty, uh, it's like gooey paint, it's a little bit less water in it, and my brush is just damp, it's not like wet, wet. And I always leave a little piece of white, there's a little trick is I, in that eyeball, I always leave a little teeny piece of white, that little square, and um, I just go around it. So like I, the control is kind of like having a magic marker, I always say. So, and it, you fill in that whole little section of the go around the eye. You see his eyes are awesome. And you fill right up to the edge, that black, and that super cool eye. Oh, Marty Cat. Marty Cat. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> are you going to put these uh, paintings next to each other, uh, Bentley. Oh, yeah. We have a whole like gallery wall going <laughs> up our stairs of all my pictures of Bentley and Marty. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm going to the same thing on the other side. Fill up that little bit of the corner, the black. Leave that piece of white for that little shine. And if you, if you don't, if you go over that piece of white, that's okay. I always say like, you can go over with a piece of chalk later if you have chalk, like, but uh, just do your best to try to like leave a teeny piece of white because that really makes the eye pop. Oh. And then go and just kind of just trace over what you drew before. I'm going to very easy go under the eye and get the cat going right up along the side. And he's got, so I'm going back over those, uh, those marks that I had done before. Um, you can see, and see, I just dried off. See, my brush is kind of dry, so I can do that fur. And I just like follow all those brush strokes that you had um, traced out before. Part of the the cool thing about this process that I do is like when you trace the drawing I gave you, it it gives you like um, like muscle memory. You know, it's almost like stretching out before you go for a run. And yeah. So that way, when you go to go to the paintbrush, you're not so um, sorry. <laughs> Mom, thanks, mom. <laughs> Forgot to tell her I'm doing a Facebook Live. So <laughs> you just go in here and you just follow those lines. That way it gives you a little bit of, yeah. And then they always have, the cats have these awesome, like, you know, the Egyptian eye that kind of comes down a little bit. Don't go like too heavy, but it definitely has a little bit. You want to just drag that down just a little bit. There you go. So you just go in there. So you can't. I'm gonna go back in that little lip and and in the nostrils too, because that the nostrils are uh, pretty dark, right on there. And I have that uh, kind of gooey paint going on on my brush right now. So just gonna fill in those little nostrils. And I always say, remember the nostrils are not like too 
holes like the way like a pig's nose is not like two dots it cats and dogs nose have like a natural that curls out to the side so you want to always make sure that it continues out a little bit and just fill that out and they got that little knot line right down the center and it goes right to the lip so that's just gives that the whole distinction there's kitty cat marty cat <laughs> thank you thank you for everybody's watching me on facebook live i really appreciate everybody and if you could give me a like you know that would be great too and remember you can always have me paint your pet at home uh christine ordered a do-it-yourself kit and we're just uh going step by step through zoom and she's learning how to paint her fat cat marty mr key cat oh thank you everybody so I'm going into a little bit more fur, like underneath, see, we did that elbow right here because underneath the belly, even though it's white fur, we're just going to kind of fill that in with a little bit of gray to show that that leg is a little bit in front of the other ones and this fur that comes around the front. And remember, if it's, if it's too dark, if that's like, ooh, that came out too dark, take your wet paper towel, just dab it up, lighten it up a little bit, but you want to kind of go in and just... What you do is just follow the, the trace marks that um, you traced from the drawing I provided. And it's kind of like a, I call it like paint by numbers without the numbers. <laughs> so I'm going to go back into, do a little bit of shadowing so that hit the, hit the back of his, um, he, back here is, I'm going to just put it in a little bit more shadow. And I'm going to build up some, see how really dark that is right in here under these kitty cats uh, to, show that he's um, sitting in space. I'm going to build up that Tiffany blue, as my friend called it. I'm just mm -hmm. building up uh, a little bit more. It's just like the cyan and the teal. With these palettes, uh, the colors are kind of set out in a, the, the, the way the rainbow is. So you're, if you just go to the one right next to it, they're usually, they're complimentary. They're, they're friends. <laughs> in the color world, they're friends. So I'm just kind of, yeah, just darken that up. I think I'm going to even darken up more. Add a little navy in there. Just get a little bit darker in there. And do that. Go underneath Kitty Cat. And really uh, show that shadow. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to fill up all this corner. Cat. Same with the back. I'm going to do a little bit of the same, that darkness in the back. Just kind of pushes the uh, back. If you're going to do the background, I always say, you know, have fun with the colors of the background. But it's, it's cool to do, like, a darker color at the base. So it kind of graduates into a little bit lighter. That's a good idea. Yeah. So, and that's why you can mix up the colors a little bit, Mr. Cat. There's Mr. Kitty Cat. I'm going to back in a little bit more shadow in here. Hmm. Underneath his, his little chinny chin. Chitty chin chin. I just keep wiping off. I have my paper towel in my hand, and if it's like, not, if it's too dark, I wipe it off, and I just kind of almost use my brush as a mop, and kind of remove the color a little bit. And if you want to remove even remove even more, clean off the brush altogether with water. And just literally just put water on it and drag it out a little bit. I want to do make sure that that looks dark. Because that's, um, that's that cool gray that Marty has on his face. I want to make sure that he's got that awesome kitty cat. Oh, yes, kitty cat. No, oh, he's so cute. I'm so glad we got to see him. Yeah. I mean, mm. I, like, I'm so glad we found him because I was never going to, like, go out and probably yeah. actively get a cat. But because, like, 
we found him and like Bentley was like basically like begging for him to come home and come into the house and everything. I was like, all right, fine. And um, mm-hmm. yeah, he's really cool. Like even my friends, like who are like kind of like some of my friends who were allergic to cats when we were growing up, like yeah. they've been fine coming to visit and seeing <laughs> like Marty. Like he's, you know, he is like a cat dog. Like he, <laughs> He, uh, it's so funny. There's a, a talk show uh, host, Wendy Williams. I don't know if you ever watch her, but she, yeah. she read, uh, she uh, rescued, um, two cats and, um, now she's doing her show from home and she's like, uh-huh. I don't know if you're going to see my cats. She's like calling them like my way, chit chat. Come over here. Come over here. Oh, they're not listening to me. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> like that's not how cats, the cats don't come. They're not like dogs like that. They won't come to you. Like and you just call them. <laughs> He does though, Marty. Like, if you oh, yeah? can see, he's like really, he's on the couch right now, just like hanging out right there. He's like, you guys talking about me? Oh, Marty, oh look at again. Marty, turn around. Hold on, let me show everybody on Facebook to see what <laughs> Marty get. Marty, that's his, this is his favorite blanket to sit on. He like oh, loves he he's gonna look at that big soon. tail. He's like a raccoon. He's really cute. <laughs> oh. So cute. Uh oh. Like. <laughs> so. Uh, I'm just finishing up a little bit of shadows on here. And I'm going to say goodbye to everybody on Facebook Live for watching. I'm going to continue on with uh, Christine and give her step by step instructions. And if you want me to do a paint your pet with you, do it yourself kit, just go to Pet Portrait Fun and order yours and send me a photograph of your pet. I will give you all the tools you need and step-by-step instructions on how to paint your pet from home. And thank you so much for everybody for watching. I appreciate you guys and uh, stay safe and we'll get through this together. All right, lots of love. Bye you guys, thanks a lot. (laughs) My. Appearance. Oh, they can't again. And people, they could see it. I was like, am I holding it up to my screen? I'm like, I'm double. Like, they, they were like, people were saying they could see it. I was like, oh, okay, you can't see it because I was like, can you see the cat? Previously with Bentley, so cute. Friend or brother is Marty the cat. Save. I'll hit save. There. Let that save. Yeah, so uh, have you ever done a, a Facebook Live thing before? No, no. I know. It's a, I am, like, so, it took me forever to, uh, you know, just, like, I didn't even like looking at myself on screen. I'm like, but I love teaching the classes. I'm like, I love going around and teaching. I'm like, it's so weird. It's like a whole different world, like, looking at yourself. You're like, what? You're like, you know, and then, and then you just kind of eventually get used to it, but um, then, you know, trying to understand Facebook world, but it does work, especially with what's going on now. I mean, that's how you kind of have to do things now. Oh yeah. So for sure. Yeah. Like you go with your zoom with the kids, like my sister is doing zoom. Um, and it's funny what you're saying, like, that's totally, but they're like, the kids are writing, like, like chatting on the side and, and I had to turn uh, off the chat. I have to mute kids. Like, and you know what? Sometimes it's been like the parents, like this one mom came in, like, with just her towel on, like, looking for something, and the kid was in the middle of, like, class with us. I'm like, oh, my God. Can you please? Oh, my God. <laughs> there, there was a guy from, uh, what is it, Good, Good Morning America. I don't watch it usually, but it was on TMZ. And he was, he had his sport coat on and his button-up, uh, like, shirt, and he was wearing his underoos. Like, he didn't realize, <laughs> like, like, they, they could, the camera could see, you know, his, like, his, like, his <laughs> Under Armour, like, tidy blackies, you know, like. They're like, he's wearing underwear. Like, and he's like being all serious, telling his story. Like, (laughs) dude, if you're going to put the sport coat on, just, just go all the way. Like, at least put sweatpants on. (laughs) Yeah. Come on, man. I mean, this is like my, a lot of my kids that, um, like some of them are like, well, all of them are like emotionally disturbed for the most part. So Mm -hmm. they're like really smart, but they're just like bad. Yeah. Some of them are foster care and stuff but they like love like I love that they like still like love animals so I've always been showing them pictures of like Bentley and Marty like I'll put like a lot of times if like kids do all their work they get to request like a TikTok dance for Bentley to do oh that's um, so great they like were loving watching me do like the the Bentley painting so they're, they're gonna enjoy seeing some of Marty getting done too oh that's super cool I love that it's like it's like a treat 
you know, like, yeah. it's funny how, like, things that are just basic all of a sudden become, like, the special treat. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because, like, they're, and it's funny because, like, a lot of them are like, I didn't think I'd miss you, but I actually miss you a lot. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm missing Bentley and Marty stories. I'm like, I oh. know, right? Like, <laughs> and you realized. Bentley Doodle. Oh, that's so real. It's your fat cat. We did a, um, I did a Zoom party. Uh, for my friend who was doing uh, painting her cat for and it was her mom's birthday she says oh is it she, she ordered the do-it-yourself kit and she's like is there any way you could kind of um you know send the like I guess the the drawing so I sent basically the, this the sketch like that you trace uh -huh. out I sent that as a uh, black and white jpeg to the parents and I told them like you can trace that out if you have watercolor paper they had they had some art supplies themselves, so they were able to, like, join. So we did, like, a whole group Zoom party. And oh, that's um, so fun. everybody just used whatever paints they had there, and we all drew her cat. So she wrote tonight when I said I invited everybody to, to do Marty the Cat. So most, the majority I do is dogs. But, you know, I said I, I don't discriminate. Kitty cats are right. pets, too. And um, so, but, yeah, truthfully, because most of my parties are at, um like, dog friendly places where you can bring your dog that's like kind of my kitsch my uh the novelty of it. it's like it's like sip and paint where you can bring your dog yeah uh, so and um and we're like what can you bring your cat I'm like no i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> well you can pay your cat that's okay so um there are some cat cafes though yes I, people had reached out to me um about that the cat cafes um it, it's they're a little bit smaller there's it's a it, I haven't like officially tried tried like I'd like to I always like to try once to before I judge it but the, right. the cats are usually the cats from the cafe it's like you can't bring your cat to the oh. cafe. they're like rescue cats that you can adopt from that cafe um, gotcha. so like to get somebody to paint the cat that's in the cafe it doesn't mean as much I have tried to do like paint a foster pet and I realized that people are not is it's not theirs so they're not as willing right. to paint you know i'm always you know you, you gotta try different ideas you try stuff and i'm like now yeah. with everybody fostering and everything i was like oh I, I reached out to the shelter i think they were like inundated with people trying to um rescue and foster i'm like hey i can do a foster paint your pet foster your pet party and kind of help advocate the people but yeah what i think is they call it failed foster um, right. Yeah, because it's like that means it's it's like a good fail, but it's like meaning that they end up keeping the animal as their pet. They um, uh, so I think oh, there's going to be a lot of failed fosters, people fostering that just keep their keep the animal that they yeah. were fostering. <laughs> They're already sleeping while we while we're oh, kitty cat, fat cat. Marty, oh. look, there's you, Marty. That's you. Hi, fat cat. Ooh. Like, oh my god, I'm so tired. <laughs> let me take it. Wait, like, let me scream like that. Like, paint me like one of your French girls. <laughs> one of my friends said that one time. She's like, paint my dog like one of your French girls. Yeah. <laughs> and the dog was laying out like this, like, Ugh. everything. Yeah, that's how it. Bentley sleeps. Marty sleeps like that too, and Marty snores too. <laughs> that's awesome. He's such a, that, that's a total dog cat. Yeah, <laughs> he really is. I love that he's like, he got Bentley to bring him home. <laughs> it's so funny. And like, the thing is like, he is like not afraid of Bentley at all. Like there was a couple of times where like Bentley had like a new bone and I was kind of like, oh, I wonder if like, you know, I should move Marty away. And Marty has like, is like fearless with him. And like <laughs> Bentley won't do any like Bentley's so Bentley's growled once and I yelled at him but like I think Bentley's more afraid of Marty sometimes than Marty is of him like Marty's like Shh, I'm not afraid of him He's like so I will ready. walk wherever I want to walk in the house and like and like Bentley sometimes will like avoid Marty and will like jump over his like dog bed to like try to get somewhere without having to like interfere with he's Marty like, I don't want to mess with Marty he's he's like serious don't want to yeah. mess with, nobody wants to mess with Marty oh my god so how has uh, quarantining been, like, are you able to, like, go to, like, your supermarkets and stuff, or how is it um, where you live? Yeah, like, we, so we, my husband's been going to, like, Wegmans, and then, like, I mean, I still take Bentley 
to like walk every day. So I've still been like getting out that way. Yeah. And like, I honestly, this is like, this year was like my worst year ever, like kid wise, like in my class. So like, <laughs> as much as like, I don't like people dying, it's been kind of great not having to deal with, like, it's like the perfect time for there to be like the quarantine. Like, like you, you needed a break. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like I was really starting to like lose it a couple of times. Wow. Like, oh my God, this is awful. Wow. And, um, and it's like nice because then like the couple like when we do have the Zoom class, I'm like, oh, like I don't hate them as much as I thought I did. Like I actually like miss them a little bit. <laughs> oh, so, that's a good thing. Yeah. And it was, I, I was like, I felt like, I was like, you hate them so much, but like at the beginning when I like, I've got some kids that are like low income that weren't like getting their school, their, their free and reduced school lunch or whatever. And I was like, immediately like they need to be getting their like meals like what's going on like we need to figure this out and I was like why do you care I'm like I don't know I hate them sometimes but like I still want them to get food like 